Hi students, welcome to my channel once again and today the topic is fatty change which is also known as ketosis. This is a pathology topic of BDS second year. In this lecture we will be studying the definition of fat accumulation, etiology, normal pathogenesis of fat metabolism, pathogenesis of fatty liver, morphological features of fatty liver and microscopic features of fatty liver. So let's get started with the topic fatty change. Fatty change is also known as steatosis or fatty metamorphosis. It is mainly the intracellular accumulation of neutral fat when fat becomes fat deposition occurs start occurring in intracellular spaces it is it is known as fatty change it uh, earlier the older terms which were used were fatty degeneration and fatty infiltration but now these are abandoned because the fatty change uh, neither contains fat degeneration nor infiltration. So we simply say fatty change or fat, fatty metamorphosis. It occurs specially in the liver cells but also it occurs also in known fatty organs. Liver is a fatty organ so obviously there will be fatty change but it also occurs in fatty non-fatty organs like heart, kidney, skeletal muscles and other organs in some cases. So why it specially occurs in liver cell because it is the uh, it is the main site where fat metabolism occurs. It deposits in systole where in cell it deposits in systole and represent an absolute increase in intracellular lipids. Now, as we studied earlier, the most commonest site for uh, fat accumulation is liver. So, we will study how fat accumulates in liver. Liver is the commonest site for the accumulation of fat because it plays a central role in fat metabolism. Depending upon the cause and amount of accumulation and fatty change. Fatty change, how much change is there and how much accumulation is there on the basis of this we can be we can say that it may be mild which can be reversible or it is severe which ultimately causes cell injury or cell death and which is irreversible moving forward to etiology now the fatty change in liver may result from one to two two types of cases either first condition can be with the excess fat there is excess fat that is hyperlipidemia is occurring or the liver cell is damaged the cells of liver are damaged and they are not doing their function properly so exceeding the capacity of liver to metabolize it if there will be high hyperlipidemia the liver capacity will exceed to metabolize it. and it if it fails there will be accumulation and if there is any injury to cell and damage to cells of liver then it will not be able to metabolize the fat which will ultimately result in accumulation as we studied in last slide uh, two conditions uh, either the fat is excess is in excess or the there is a damage in cell liver cell so these conditions can be uh, in excess there can be obesity diabetes mellitus and congenital hyperlipidemia these are the three reasons mainly which can result in excess fat deposition 
और सेकेंड कंडीशन इज लिवर सेल डैमेज विच कैन बी बाय एल्कोहलिक एल्कोहल विच इज द मोस्ट कॉमन कॉज स्टावेशन प्रोटीन कैलोरी माल न्यूट्रिशन क्रॉनिक इलनेस दैट इज ट्यूबिकोसिस एंड दे इज ऑल्सो एक्यूट फैटी लिवर इन लेट प्रेगनेंसी ड्यू टू हाइपोक्सिया द सेल्स कैन बी डैमेज hepatotoxins like chloroform ether carbon tetrachloride and drug induced cell injury like administration of methotrexate or ray syndrome these can these all can lead to the liver cell damage which will ultimately results in fat accumulation in liver now we will study what is the cause of accumulation why uh, how it accumulates mechanism of fatty liver depends upon the stage at which the etiologic agent acts in the normal fat transport and metabolism uh, by which by which mechanism by which cause the fatty liver is get liver is getting fatty it depends upon the which stage at which stage the etiologic agent has attacked to the normal transport and metabolism so for this we should know what is the normal fat metabolism and what are the steps in normal fat metabolism to better understood the pathogenesis of fatty uh, we will talk about the normal pathogenesis of fatty liver free fatty acids can come from the diet we take and the adipose tissues free fatty acid will come now free fatty acids will be converted into fatty acids and from our body some acetate also comes and join fatty acids <coughs> now these fatty acids are converted into cholesterol esters some fatty acid convert into phospholipids and some into ketone bodies now free fatty acids converts into triglycerides by the action of alpha glycerophosphate and then triglycerides convert into lipoprotein which needs lipid acceptor protein then lipoproteins finally converted into plasma protein and are deposited into plasma and this this all mechanism is happening in hepatocytes that is liver cell may in liver cells this mechanism is occurs and this is the normal pathogenesis of metabolism of fat now so now we know the normal pathogenesis of metabolism of fat in liver now we will mark them as six stages first stage is when free fatty acid converts into fatty acid fatty acids and acetate comes then third is ketone bodies some of the fatty acids convert into ketone bodies fourth step is to when alpha glycerophosphate acts and it fatty acids are converted into triglycerides fifth step is when triglycerides convert into lipoprotein with the help of lipid acceptor protein and last step is plasma lipoprotein so if one of these step get altered or one of these step alter gets altered because of any etiologic agent which we studied earlier that is obesity alcoholism there will be alteration in pathogenesis of mechanism of fatty liver also so now we know the normal mechanism of fat in liver metabolism now in fatty liver what happens when 
if intracellular accumulation of triglyceride can occur due to defect in any of one or more following steps as six steps we studied in this chart if any of this step get altered there will be change in normal metabolism which will result in accumulation of triglycerides now first if there is increase entry of free fatty acids into the liver here we studied then fr that from diet and adipose tissue free fatty acids come if these fatty these free fatty acids amount is increased then there will be more triglycerides next increase synthesis of fatty acids by liver now when fatty acids are converted into free fatty acid free fatty acids are converted into free fa fatty acids then by liver if this mechanism is increased this step has been increased then there will be ultimately more triglycerides then if there is decreased conversion of fat fatty acids to ketone bodies resulting in increased esterification of fatty acids to triglycerides now we studied that some of the fatty acids converts into these cholesterol esters phospholipids and mainly ketone bodies so if this fatty acids is conversion to ketone bodies decrease then there will be more fatty acids and more triglycerides fourth step increase alpha glycerophosphate causing increased esterification of fatty acids to triglycerides now we studied that for the conversion of fatty acids into triglycerides alpha triglycerides glycerophosphate enzyme is required so now if the amount of this enzyme is increased it will lead to increased esterification of fatty acids and there will be more triglycerides now if there is decrease in the synthesis of lipid acceptor protein the triglycerides which are con form here are converted into lipoprotein with the help of lipid acceptor protein now if this acceptor protein is decreased there will be less change of triglycerides into lipoprotein so there will be ultimately there will be accumulation of triglycerides now if there is block in excretion of lipoproteins from the liver into plasma if this lipoproteins get accumulates in liver only and it is not excreted in the plasma there is blockage in excretion of this lipoprotein to plasma protein then there will be increased amount in hepatocytes so this if any of the alteration in this six steps occurs it will lead to fat accumulation in the liver now in case of liver cell injury by chronic alcoholism many factors are implicated which includes now if there is chronic alcoholism this is due to chronic alcoholism what happens increase lipolysis increase free fatty acid synthesis decrease triglyceride utilization decrease fatty acid oxidation to ketone bodies and block in lipoprotein excretion moving forward to morphologic features of a fatty liver grossly liver in fatty change is enlarged with dense and glistening capsule around the margins generally the liver is enlarged with dense and glistening capsule with around rounded margins the cut surface bulges slightly and is pale yellow and is greasy to touch it is greasy to touch bulges slightly when margin is cut it is uh, tense and like a glistening capsule with the rounded margins microscopically now in microscope what is seen correct 
what we see characteristic features in the presence of numerous lipid vacuoles in the cytoplasm of hepatocytes we can stain them using h and e stain and this in this preparation the this appears as non stain vacuoles because it these are dissolved in alcohol so they will appear non stain moving forward to microscopic features they the vacuoles are initially small and are present around the nucleus initially the vacuoles will be small that is microvascular then they will become as macrovesiculars they will become large in size and pushing the nucleus to periphery here it will be at center and then they will push the nucleus to periphery sometimes hepatocytes with large lipid molecules may rupture which cause which forms fatty cysts infrequently lipogranule new granulomas may appear consisting of collection of lymphocytes macrophages and some multinucleated giant cells so now we know all about fatty change and fat accumulation so in if in exams the topic comes as a short it mainly comes as a short note so we will write first of all what is fatty change then we study about etiology then we will explain the etiology in detail then we will uh, talk about normal pathogenesis then defects if any defect comes in any of the six steps it will leads to fat accumulation then morphological features plus microscopic features Thank you for watching my video.